Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm going to be creating a project today for the Just Nick digital cut file design team. And I'm going to show you here right away the photograph that I'm going to be scrapping. And I'm going to be using this gorgeous cut file from the shop called Delicate Butterflies. It's been a favorite of mine for a long time. I love it. I think it's just beautiful and it definitely has a springy feel to it for sure. And I just really like how it looks with the outdoor photograph that I'm going to be using um, to document this memory here today. So you'll just see me taking this off of the mat. I use some American Crafts 12 by 12 textured cardstock to cut this file and you can just see me here taking that off. I've sized the file all in one piece and in uh, vertical. And I just, my idea was to create a vertical line across one side of my layout. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here today. So I've got that all peeled off of that mat. And now what I'm going to do is take some six by six papers from Pebbles Patio Party Collection that was released at Creativation this year and it is so pretty. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite collections from uh, the spring or for the spring and it's just so pretty. So I'm going to use this paper here to back the largest butterfly at the bottom and this paper has some gold metallic uh, little bits in it so it's just so so very pretty and I love the florals and I just think that it just looks stunning as a back piece for that um, butterfly so you can see that I've just added some liquid adhesive to the back of the cut file and I just placed that onto the paper and now I'm just taking my um, fine scissors and I'm just going around the edge of that cut file just kind of keeping the scissor blade just kind of behind the cut file a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to get a nice edge with the file and I'll just finish that up here and then I will go ahead and repeat this process for all of the other butterflies but I'm not going to show you that I'm just going to show you doing this one and then you'll get the idea of how to try this yourself so um, if you d haven't um, sort of taken the plunge at and purchased a, a cutting machine I definitely recommend the Cameo it's the one that I have I have the Cameo 2 and it's just been really great for me I haven't had any trouble with it and Nicole's files are just so beautiful and I really love to use them with my silhouette so um, here you can just see that I'm using a couple of pieces of paper still from the patio party collection I love this kind of aqua colored really pretty blue paper and that's going to be my background and then I've I'm going to back it onto that black patterned paper as well as a frame so you can see that that delicate butterfly cut file is just stunning it's um, going to add so much detail to my layout just that one piece that cut file that I really don't have to do a bunch of other stuff to it it's it's just um gorgeous and the detail that it adds is, is so pretty so I just really love it and I love the colors of pattern paper behind there too I think they're just so springy so I like how this is looking now I tried a bunch of different papers but I do end up using the black and white the one that's behind there right now is navy and one of the pattern papers I use to back the butterflies is navy but I just really like this black and white or black and cream I just think it's um I don't know it just adds just some kind of really cool detail to the frame around the photo or around the layout and I just liked it so I decided to go with that now I am going to gut it I'm going to take the center out of that paper just so that it doesn't get wasted and you'll see me do that here in a minute so I'm liking how that frame looks I think it looks good so I'm just going to take the center part of the paper out so that I can use that again and I'm actually going to use part of that to back the photograph to create a photo mat and just to bring that paper back into the inside of the layout as well not just the frame I'm just going to use a little bit of repositionable adhesive here just so that um, if I do get it in the wrong wrong spot uh, it's a little bit more forgiving and you can move it around in that way and just makes life a little bit easier and so that's all good to go and I'm going to place my cut file on there now I do end up 
putting a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of the cut file just to pop it up off the layout and give it a little bit of dimension. And here you can just see that, like I said earlier, I'm going to use that same pattern paper that's in the frame around the layout as a photo mat as well. And I'm just going to leave just a really fine, thin mat around that photograph. And I like how that looks. Now, I looked at this for the longest time and couldn't figure out why I didn't like um, what else I wanted to add to the layout. And I realized that I just didn't like the photograph that low. And so once I moved it up to kind of more of a center area by that um, fourth butterfly, I guess, or second from the bottom, I just liked how that looked a lot better. And then it kind of gave me some options for where to put some of the other pieces that I wanted to add. So that magical is a chipboard piece from the patio party collection as well. And I'm just taking some Maggie Holmes foam gold foiled alphas from, I think these were from Carousel. And I'm going to add that just as a different font also as part of the title. I'm going to add one other little die cut from Patio Party, just a little floral piece over to the side and one of those really sweet little acetate butterflies that are also from that collection. I really like how that looks and I'm going to leave that over in that area. And all I really have to add uh, left is the journaling strip. So I just typed up the journaling on my computer and printed that off and cut that into strips just with my scissors. It's not perfectly straight, but it doesn't have to be. And I'm just going to take my tweezers now and add some liquid adhesive to the back there and place these down. And that is going to be it for this layout. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you take the time to head over to Nicole Nawasad's um, cut file shop, Just Nick. It is an amazing uh, group of, she has an amazing group of cut files on her in her shop and be sure to check it out. I am going to leave a link in the description box below to the online shop and blog. So um, have an amazing day and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed my uh, process video here today. So, and if you did and you would like to take the time to do so, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you as a new subby on my channel. So thanks so much guys, and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.